this next story I found so funny, man. I'm a fan of the Joe Budden podcast. Uh, I actually got Spotify for the first time because of the Joe Budden podcast. So, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. Uh, I've always just followed Joe Budden's career. I found him pretty interesting. So, I followed his career. And... I was actually listening to the episode that caused this huge uproar. So I have the context behind everything because you got to hear whole context around, you know, small sections that people take and run with. You have to hear the context. That's the thing that kills people in a lot of cases because some people just read headlines. They don't go read the article. They say too many words in it. I'll just take your word for what you said at the top. Which is, you know, a BS thing because I, I just read a nasty headline about Tory Lanez. It was like, why did Tory Lanez shoot Meg the Stallion? And I was like, hold on. Case hasn't been litigated yet. Allegations can hurt somebody so bad that you can write a headline saying, why did he shoot her? And I went to go read the article and it says in there, why did he shoot her? Nobody knows. So why would you put the headline saying that you're just making them look bad? You know what I'm saying? So you could just take something and you can run with it because somebody might just read the headline and take that for what is word, you know, word is bound. They might look at it like that type of situation. But again, I was watching the Joe Budden podcast, so I got the context of the conversation they had when supposedly Joe Budden decided to come out. That's right. They said he came out and he declared himself a bisexual man. Again, I was watching this podcast and I would say Joe came out. You know, that's always been a conversation and joke. If he did it, he do. If he is, he is. If he isn't, he isn't. Again, I'm not in nobody's bedroom. I'm not here to tell anybody how to live their lives. Find whatever makes you happy. And enjoy your life. Because if you're worried about uh, what other people think about what you're doing in life, you're already failing. You're already going to fail. Everybody has to start from point A to point B. Everybody wants to get to that place of happiness. So you have to be yourself and do what you feel is right for you. Because decisions for other people can weigh you down sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm getting that. To this is, I got the uh, source article pulled up right here where they talk about uh, he came out. And after I read this, I'm going to, uh, you know, break down some of my context that I have because I, I haven't read this article yet. It says, while Lil Nas X may be the most prominent LGBTQ figure in the hip hop community, rapper and podcaster Joe Budden has also possibly come out as bisexual. On an episode of the Joe Budden podcast last week, Joe Budden came out as bisexual in a very non-ceremonious way. I'm bis- uh, quote, this is what he said. I'm bisexual. He simply said before continuing, how do I spread the news? How do I spread the word? Yo, listen, I like guys and I like girls. Spread the word. I'm down. The article continues, Joe Budden has been linked to many women in the past, but until now, there has been no rumors of him being involved with men. Some critics wondered if Budden was being sarcastic or trolling his fans on the podcast. However, he appeared to confirm his sexuality, his sexual orientation on Twitter, tweeting, ah, I see the word got out. Continue to spread the word, please. The comments came during a discussion about a prominent LGBTQ advocacy group working on healing with rapper The Baby. Following the, his comments that many call a homophobic. While many still have questioned the rapper's authenticity about his statement, his tweet was largely met with support on social media. Whether or not Button was serious remains to be seen. So, yeah, he said that during a conversation where uh, they talked about uh, the baby situation and how it looks like a little bit like extortion, you know. Uh, for context, 
people know the baby went through his so-called cancel thing after he made his comments on the Rolling Loud stage. Then from there, he proceeded to go on an apology to me with people. It's cool. If you don't have understanding for something, it's good to have understanding and to have conversations. But we also live in 2021. Sometimes when you say things that may be factually correct, even if it has some factuality to it, if you hurt somebody's feelings, you could be in trouble. That was kind of the point that Dave Chappelle was saying. You could do something in the actuality, but if I do something to hurt your feelings, then I'm the bad guy. And that ain't the situation that we want to be looking at uh, things from. So, uh, yeah. So, apparently, while they were doing the podcast, the breaking news that came out that he had a new tour that was going to be ran through Rolling Loud for, like, I think 18 cities, 16 cities, something like that. But it's going to be ran by the company that he was performing at to which he got canceled through. And it's like, why would you run it through them? And now in all the articles that came out, everybody's mentioning he's now healed. He's now found his way and things like that. So in all of these articles, it's like they were kind of that they had read on the podcast. It was like in all of them, they made sure to put the statement that this group said he's okay now. So all of it came together and, and the conversation was like, you know, hey, I'm. I'm bisexual, you know. I'm with y'all. I'm with y'all. And, you know, that went and it got ran with. Whether he is or he isn't, again, it's not going to change me being a Joe Budden fan. I enjoy the conversations that Joe Budden has with Spark. He's a good mediator in the way for his podcast. He gets conversations flowing. I like Joe Budden. I've been a fan of it. Again, I've been a fan of his podcast and just Joe Budden speaking in general for a while. For a long time. When him and I came together, I thought that was the perfect marriage for uh on Complex. Everyday struggle. That's the show. I thought that was like the perfect marriage for them two. Perfect. And the show took off immediately. Uh but again, I don't know whether he is, I don't know whether he isn't. It doesn't really matter to me. But the baby situation was a little, you know what I'm saying? I can see where they got the, maybe he's been, they're getting a percentage of the money now. Like, he didn't give up all this money, and in order for him to get back, he had to still give up some more money off the shows. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. I, I'm glad, I guess. I'm glad the baby's going to be able to get back to the lifestyle that he was building up before the comments. And again, the feelings thing is always going to be a tricky thing because everybody has feelings and everybody's feel different about every different situation. So uh puts people in the box that have to be quiet sometimes and, and not be able to say what they want unless you're part of certain teams because if you're part of certain teams, you can see... Whatever you want. You can talk about black people. You can talk about this. You can talk about that. Shit, we saw, uh, like, anytime you get, like, email leaks. When we had, what was the Sony email leaks and you saw the conversations they were having uh, about people behind the scenes? Yeah. So it's okay for you to say this as long as, you know, it's not said in an out loud voice or you're with a certain demographic. Then it's okay, you know. It's fine. It's your boy, DJ the Park Boy, and I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro, and I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable, and the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weed sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine. Anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.